I free myself, not by trying to be free, but by simply noticing how I am imprisoning myself in the very moment I am imprisoning myself. Lao Tzu. The idea that I want to share with you guys today is in a book called How to Tame Your Gremlin. It's by Richard Carson, and it's also a subtitle, The Guide to Enjoying Yourself. And in this book, he goes over a few different ideas, and I think that these ideas are very important. I believe that some of the ideas I've shared with you guys in this channel have been encapsulated into this book, so I decided to share my take on this book and try my best to explain it in a way that might be useful to you guys. So, in this book, he talks about how there are three steps to taming your gremlin. First, he says, the first step is to simply notice. The second step is choosing and playing with options. And the third step is being in process. So, first, what is the gremlin? What is it that he's referring to when he's talking about the gremlin? Well, if you've listened to Eckhart Tolle's tapes and a number of different um, spiritual teachers, they all talk about it in different ways. Eckhart likes to talk about it as the pain body. And the way that he describes it is that in each person, um, we all have our own individual body of pain energy that resides within us that sort of takes on a life of its own. And this goes on from generation to generation. So uh, women have a particular pain body from the different challenges and um, you know pain that they have gone through in the past. Men have their own pain body. Different races and nationalities have their own pain body depending on which part of the world you are in. And we all have our own individual pain body that surfaces as a result of the different painful experiences that we've experienced in our own lives. So, in this book, he talks about how we have our self right here, our true self. I forgot the right self. I like the right self with a capital S. So we have the self with a capital S, and that is you. And then we have this entity within us that is called the gremlin in this book. And over here we have all the negative thinking, the negative thoughts, the fear, the anger, the judgment, the anxiety, etc. Now, if you fall into the category of somebody who has dealt with a lot of negative thinking and limiting beliefs, and you live your life in a very fearful state, and if you're attracted to this channel uh, through my Claire Weeks video, then obviously this pretty much sums up what you're going through, then this idea right here is outside of the scope of the desensitization that Claire Weeks talks about. This is more of a moment by moment mindfulness exercise that will free you from identifying with all of the negative stuff that your gremlin is feeding you. So what happens is, and pay close attention because this is very easy to miss. It's a very subtle thing that's happening here. But once you understand what's happening, it's going to free you from this. And it's going to give you power. It's going to give you your own power back. It's going to free you from limiting beliefs and free you from your fear. So this is you, the capital S. And as we discussed, over time, different painful experiences accumulate in your life and your gremlin forms a life of its own. Now this is basically just a psychic entity. And um, Eckhart Tolle goes on to say that, you know, it seems like it's this own entity, like it has its own a mind of its own, and it kind of does, but it's not separate from you. It came from you. It's your energy trapped. It's your trapped energy within your body and within your psyche that has kind of taken on a life of its own and maintains its life through negativity and conflict. So in order for your gremlin to survive, what it does is it constantly diverts your attention over to negative thoughts. So the way this looks is if you call yourself an anxious person, you say, I am anxious, I am afraid, I am thinking about this, I am thinking about that. When this process is occurring, you are missing a very important part, a very important component, because 
this thing is like a phantom. It's invisible. It's something that you are lacking awareness of. And I'll show you that through awareness of it, it begins to lose its power. So, like I said, the gremlin's job is to divert your attention over to the negative thinking. And what happens is once you have put your attention on the negative thoughts, you identify with them and you become them. You become these thoughts by virtue of your attention being diverted to them. Now, there are two different ways for you to attend to these negative thoughts. The first way is for you to be in them. That's the first way. So if you're an anxious person, if you're dealing with a lot of fear, stress, and limiting beliefs, then you are in your negative thoughts. You are living them. You don't realize that they are just thoughts that are being fed to you by this entity. You believe that you are thinking them and you believe you are thinking them because they are true thoughts. Now, the second way for your attention to be on these thoughts is for you to observe them. Now, there is a huge difference between you being your thoughts and you observing your thoughts. When you are being your thoughts, that is very much like you are in the movie and everything in the movie is real. You don't realize that you're an actor in the movie. You are in the movie. You are a character in the movie. But when you begin to observe your thoughts and observe your gremlin, what happens is these negative thoughts lose their power because you become more like an audience member watching the movie. So you don't get sucked into the movie so much. You become an observer watching the movie. So rather than going directly into these thoughts and becoming them, the simply noticing technique says what you should do is you should begin to simply notice your negative thoughts, the negative thoughts that your gremlin is spewing to you, and also notice your gremlin. So how do you do that? How do you notice this psychic entity, this thing that's invisible, this thing that you think is you? Well, the way that you start is by becoming aware of the negative thoughts that are occurring in your mind. And then you will start to bring a focus back to the source of these negative thoughts. I want you to begin to examine where these negative thoughts are coming from in the moment. Now, the reason why the idea of taming your gremlin, having the image of a gremlin is so helpful is because you will be using an image within your mind to encapsulate the psychic entity that is the pain body or the gremlin. Now, Eckhart Tolle will say that it's good to feel the energy of the pain body, to feel the negative, uncomfortable, shadow, dark energy that overcomes you when you get into one of these mindsets. And besides feeling the energy within your body though, you can actually become aware of the source of these negative thoughts, but it takes practice and it's a certain kind of attention. It's difficult to explain. But the way that I could say to you guys how you can become aware of the gremlin is to start asking yourself when you are thinking these negative thoughts. First, ask yourself, what is the thought I'm thinking? Now, if it's fear, when you walk up to somebody and you feel fear, you can kind of imagine if you had a gremlin standing right next to you, what would he be saying that's making you afraid of this situation right now? Now it might be, and you could actually get into role play with this, but it might be a gremlin saying, you know, oh, they're gonna judge you, they're gonna reject you, um, you're not good enough, you're, you're, you're gonna fuck up, you're gonna mess up. All of these thoughts coming from this psychic entity, you are listening to it and you are believing it and you are convinced. Now, 
as long as your attention is off of this pain body, gremlin, then you are going to believe everything it says. If you've ever watched or played the video game Mario, uh, Super Mario Brothers, when you're in the castle, there's these big ghosts that are like flying around like this. And whenever Mario looks at it, it stops. It stops cold in its tracks and I believe it covers its eyes. But then when Mario looks away, it starts to hover behind it and come up to him and it can kill him. It could kill you in a game. It's kind of the same thing. When you have your attention on the gremlin, when you have your attention on the pain body, it loses its power. But its methods are very seductive. So what is going to happen is when you begin to practice this, it's going to start to use all these different techniques. And you're going to see that there is power behind this. You're going to see that when you begin to observe the source of these negative thoughts, they are going to begin to lose power. You are not going to be so entrenched in the thoughts anymore. You're going to slowly become a audience member rather than somebody in the movie. But this takes practice and it takes a certain kind of effort. Now, it is not an effort that you would call straining. But to become aware of something that is difficult to become aware of does take an effort. It is a certain kind of effort, though. It is a very allowing, being, stillness in the moment effort. A relaxed effort. So, start off with that. Start off with simply noticing. That is the first step with this. The second step is choosing and playing with options. Now, the idea behind this is that you don't want to set any hard rules for yourself when you're engaging in this practice. You want to play around with it. So this means that when you have noticed your gremlin, it diffuses its power over you. And once you have done that, once you have gained freedom to an extent in the moment, you begin to make different decisions. You're no longer at the mercy of the gremlin. Gremlin's no longer controlling you and forcing you into avoidance behaviors and behaviors to protect yourself. You can begin to play with different options, but you don't want to set any hard rules for yourself. You want to just kind of play, just like it says, choose and play with options. Very, very loose, very, very laid back, just kind of play around with different ideas. And the thing is, you're going to see that sometimes when you play with different options, the gremlin's going to come up again, judge it again. And you say, um, you know, instead of avoiding this time, I'm going to walk into this uh, situation. And then maybe it doesn't go so good, or maybe it does, but the gremlin will probably have something to say about it. And you observe that also. And the third step is being in process. And the idea behind this is that you are always going to be in process. You never finish the work. But as you begin to tame your gremlin, as you begin to get a hold on it, it is going to lose immense power over you. And you are going to gain yourself back. Most of the... Many of the limiting beliefs that you have had imprisoning you for years now, will begin to dissolve, they will begin to lose their power as you come into your own power. It is the noticing that has power because essentially within us, we are all essentially awareness. And what our awareness identifies with, we often confuse with who we are. And as you become aware of all these fun, fun things that are occurring within your mind, awareness no longer identifies with it. And you begin to identify more with the self, which is pure awareness. If you like this video, if you found that it was helpful, please hit like. And if you like the stuff that we're talking about on this channel, hit subscribe. That'll be great. Um, and thank you to everybody who has already subscribed and has been supporting the channel so far. I will continue to make videos on these different subjects on how to find freedom, peace, happiness, and to let go of fear, anxiety, and all those good things. Enjoy your night.